Hey folks, Eric the Old Jarhead here. All right, we're getting down there on this one. So first of all, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you hit that like button for me, I'd love it. It really helps the channel out. Thank you very much for doing that. This video is a little different for you because it's really the last few logs getting knocked down and out of the way on the end of this particular episode of the old Jarhead Sawdust Roadshow. We're really just knocking down logs here now rolling them up and making them into one buys two buys and four buys and just kind of really getting to the end of the road on this job so stick around let's see how we operate here how we get these logs done and by the way stick around to the end um, you might find it interesting i'm going to sit down and have a bit of a chat with the customer i hope you enjoy it as always i appreciate you watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button it really helps me out folks Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you got any questions, I always try to answer them.
last one's done.
All right, folks, I think that just about does it for these logs. <laughs> you know, we've earned it, damn it. Absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh man, I, I knew we would. I just That stuff fascinates me. Well, it's that engineer mind. Mm. Now you probably see why I mentioned the, just the cut list when looking oh. at the logs. Because every log is different. Yeah, no, it makes sense. you got to kind of work with each one. Oh, after you explained it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes total good sense. And once you see it in action, oh, then, yeah. then it probably makes even more sense, you know. All right, well. Well, and I'm amazed how easily you can just change on the fly and move and shift and, you know, <laughs> cut log, whatever. You, you, I can tell you can see what's going on. And, so, yeah, that worked out good. Super pleased. I'm amazed that there was such little waste. I mean, Kim and I drug a lot of stuff over the edge of the bank. You can't see, I guess, but it's uh, pretty pretty efficiently cut. I can see that. Well, it's a good thing it rained last night or we'd be dealing with the sand. So. Well, that's, that's pretty good considering that you're not here. I mean, you're just going off of photos and stuff. So. Yep, yep. Excellent. <clears throat> Excellent. Oh, four days. That's that's my limit. I think. Oh man, that's a lot. Well, and then just traveling. And traveling wears me out. You know. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't actually. I do okay doing that. Okay. I've driven all my life. I've yeah. driven across the country a few times. Well, it you helps know. when you have this. Man, I, I would much rather do this than hotel. Kim and I hardly ever do a hotel I, I anymore. I hate hotels. Yeah, we hate it too. And we I did. Ever do um, it. I worked for Nortel Networks. It was 100% travel. Mm -hmm. Lived out of hotels except for one stint of a few months where they got me an apartment, really nice apartment oh, in a gated community. That, be better, that, be that was nice, yeah. but honestly, I'm I'm actually and I don't believe in astrology, but I'm a Cancer, and and I'm the when you look at what a Cancer is, you're, that's you're what right I am. There. Which yeah. is a homebody. Yeah. You know, I'm the. I like to be home with the wife, and, and that doesn't mean I don't mind traveling. But right. hotels and I, I don't get a lot. I don't. First of all, we make better food than any restaurant. Oh, absolutely. So the heck with eating out. Yeah. I don't. We don't eat out very often, except yeah. for burgers or something. You know, or deli sandwiches. But yeah. we we make everything ourselves. And um, how we. I mean, when I say we make everything ourselves, I mean, I make my own flour to make bread. Oh, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> I make my own soap. Oh, <laughs> you know, we make everything ourselves. Nice. And, uh, you know, we garden, we do it all. Yeah. And that's yeah. really what led me to milling, is just why buy it when I can make it. No, that's smart. And um, now, obviously, that's not for everybody because not everybody, you know, needs as much wood as I did. Yeah. But, um, but it pays off in the end. I mean, and I'm, a, I'm an extroverted person, right? I, I like to meet people. I like to get out and see people and yep. see new. I love to travel. Not, I hate airplanes. Oh, I've been yeah. all over the world. Yeah. I don't want to go. The Northwest is the most beautiful place in the world. Yeah. I mean, where else do you get this? Even the wind, it's beautiful. I love the sound of the wind in yeah. the trees. Oh, yeah. I love, I can see right through your house and see some yep. snow capped so mountains. See down the mountains. I, just can't beat that and and so for me traveling meeting people that's awesome you're, you're taking their trees and turning them into something that they're going to make something beautiful out of which i do hope you send me yeah. pictures oh, i told my wife said we might have to come back in a year and see oh, what you oh, do absolutely, <laughs> absolutely do we tell people out of uh, the people that drop the cabinets mm -hmm. off we're like hey if you want to come in next week and come see where how we progress go for well, it you get it all done i'd be happy to come back yeah. and just visit well, you, you yeah. got a flat spot here. We're gonna. Hey, we got a flat spot. Yeah. We we got our hotel on wheels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you haven't seen inside it yet. No, we'll take a peek. <laughs> it's a bit dirty, but. That's all right. We'll get it. Yeah. yeah. But you know, that's it. It's 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 a fun, enjoyable. It's tiring, but I'm a dumb jarhead. But I'll tell you the truth. As a kid, I used to volunteer to split wood for people. 